For a long time, people have um, wondered whether or not antibiotics make us fat. And as you guys know, many farm animals are given antibiotics because it helps fatten them up. Well, researchers at NYU uh, just published a new study in the journal Nature, and they found why antibiotics make animals fat and why antibiotics could actually make us fat as well. Now, before I get to the study, I just want to share a stat with you that really blew me away. In 2009, 80% of the antibiotics sold in the United States went to livestock. Wow. That's amazing. That means they are pumping those cows full of that antibiotics. Yes. And if we eat those cows, well, it comes to us. So what's the results? So what they found was that uh, when given these antibiotics, what happens is it changes something known as uh, gut microbiomes or gut flora, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and researchers uh, subjected mice to regular low doses of antibiotics, just like cows, pigs, and chickens get on factory farms. The result, after seven weeks, the drugged mice had a different composition of micro biosha, microbiota in their guts than the control group and they had gained 10 to 15 percent more fat mass. Now it explains it in a little more detail. Microbes in our gut are able to digest certain carbohydrates that we're not able to. Antibiotics seem to increase those bugs ability to break down carbs and ultimately convert them to body fat. It's over. I immediately believe it. Okay now uh, let me explain. Now we've been getting more and more obese as a country, more and more overweight and obviously mm -hmm. this trend everybody's familiar with and part of the reason for that people say is high fructose corn syrup there's many different reasons but they think one of the big drivers is that and we've got it in all, all of our food now the the chips the the cokes all that stuff right and I thought I've always thought like that's pretty good that's probably a good chunk of it but that's that can't be all that's driving it there's so many pieces of the puzzle I mean everything portion sizes high fructose corn syrup antibiotics prescription drugs there's so many it's a complex issue so it's hard no to question about that yeah. but this rings really true to me mm -hmm. and I think that we've accidentally blown this country up okay like in size by pumping uh, so much antibiotics into our food supply it makes a ton of sense and it's backed up by research we got to put an end to that man maybe we'll shrink back down now one thing that I do want to make clear is there's been a lot of speculation about antibiotic residue in our meat and whether or not that residue is making us fatter now there is a lack of transparency obviously within the meat industry and the FDA really so, and the FDA won't yeah, regulate yeah hmm. it's so, as, almost as if they're captured by the industry they're supposed to regulate so researchers are having a hard time studying that um, but they have kind of agreed right now at this point with the limited information that they have that you can't say that the antibiotics in the meat are making us fat. So let me be clear. I'm not saying press the panic button and be like no antibiotics for meat ever right, again. Right. right. No, obviously you should do the research first. Obviously the FDA should be allowed to do that research because it might have a giant impact on all of us, literally. And then uh, and then after that, if we determine that it has having a significant effect, then we can begin to limit it in a sensible and reasonable way, okay? Yes. So that we don't all have fat cow disease. <laughs>